we want to simplify the given trig expression, which normally means we want to write this in terms of a single trig function. As these expressions get more complicated, what we'll find is there's often more than one way to simplify them. Some are longer than others, but the end result should always be the same. We might first recognize that none of these trig functions are squared, so there's no obvious substitution with one of our Pythagorean identities. So we could try multiplying both the top and bottom by the conjugate of the numerator or the conjugate of the denominator, but normally what I prefer to do is to write things in terms of sine and cosine and see where that leads. So for this expression, we'll substitute one divided by sine theta for cosecant theta. So we'll leave the top the same, one plus sine theta. And then for the denominator, because we're going to substitute one divided by sine theta for cosecant theta, so this will be a fraction, I'm going to go ahead and write one as one over one and then we have plus one over sine theta. At least in this form, I know that we can add these two fractions to try to simplify this expression. But of course to add these, we do have to have a common denominator, which would be sine theta. So I have to multiply one over one by sine theta over sine theta. So now we have one plus sine theta. And then on the bottom, Notice how we now have a common denominator of sine theta. And the numerator would be sine theta plus one. We need to be careful here. We cannot simplify this sine theta and this sine theta because of the addition here. We cannot simplify across addition. But this fraction bar does represent division. So let's write this as a division problem. We would have the numerator of one plus sine theta divided by sine theta plus one over sine theta. So because we have a fraction here, let's write one plus sine theta as a fraction, so I'll put this over one. And now let's convert this division problem to a multiplication problem, meaning instead of dividing by this fraction, we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction. So we'll have one plus sine theta over one times the reciprocal of this fraction. So we'll have sine theta over sine theta plus one. And now in this form, it is gonna simplify. If you look at this numerator and this denominator, they are the same. One plus sine theta does equal sine theta plus one. If we wanted to, we could change the order here. This is the same as one plus sine theta. Therefore, this simplifies to one over one, leaving us with one factor of sine theta, which means our expression simplifies to sine theta. So this is one method of simplifying the given trig expression. The other methods will also work. I hope you found this helpful.